Okay, so we're here with Christian at Hello. Fine Gear Super Booth 2023 from Romania, Christian. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, what have you brought to the show? Well, this year we've brought two new products. We're presenting two new products: an experimental uh, mixer, which we call Mod Mix, which has four channels: simple EQ, a preamp, a volume, like all the usual channel uh, mixers, but it also has four effect sends which can be rerouted back to each of the channels so you can start doing feedback techniques and effects and it's also CV controllable all of the send amounts the panning and the volume for each of the channels are CV controllable and we've also included like on the other of our products some modulation sources to get you started with two LFOs and two envelope followers so the LFOs are digital and MIDI syncable also and the envelope followers, the, the two first channels are pre-patched to the envelope uh, followers if there's nothing else plugged into them. Incredible. And we've also got four stereo returns, which can be used either as returns or uh, separate uh, stereo channels. We have also have a, a channel mix, so you can have a, a, vo a, spe a, spe a separate volume for the mix and one for the a separate one for the master. Incredible. Such a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. And in terms of the LFOs, like how are they routable? What sort of elements can you control with the LFOs? Well, you've got their, uh, an output and an inverted output for each of them. So you can connect them however you like. You've also got a speed uh, CV input for each of them, so you can control the speed. Brilliant. And also all of these knobs are for the outputs and they're bipolar, so you, have, uh, you can have positive amounts or negative amounts, which is most important interesting for the envelope followers actually brilliant and then you can patch them however you want to it's it's like cv, CV so you know it's open to experimentation and yeah <laughs> and it's in terms of the the mixer itself are they stereo inputs on each no of these the, they're channels? mono inputs uh, mic and line so they have a combo input with a microphone and line we've got an insert also on each of the channels so you can insert effects uh, we've got a uh, phone's output, so you can route them to, to the phones. Mm -hmm. And uh, well Cool. Can we hear it in action? Sure. Okay, so now the kick is just passing through the reverb. But I'm flipping the feedback switch. And you can start having a lot of fun with the feedback that gets created. Really gnarly sounds. <laughs> yeah, well, you can get very, very dirty, and Absolutely. especially by using other effects as actual sends, they also get added to the feedback, and the feedback gets passed through them. So it's it gets very crazy, and I still haven't mastered the whole instrument it, it became. So be because it's you've got the EQs which can sculpt the sound, you've got the sends which can sculpt the sound. We can modulate the the, the send amounts. So it's it's a very complex beast that has. Yeah, that we've created. We, we haven't thought it was that versatile, and it's it is. <laughs> yeah, you've kind of you've kind of hit the trend of like a lot of people talking about no input mixing at the moment. You've well, kind of released a product, or you've got a product ready exactly the right time. Well, I'm I'm really glad about it. it. It's it, it's a it's by chance. I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't known about it. But I was thinking about my own no input project. So I thought why keep cabling and putting, uh, cab uh, connecting outputs to inputs when we can just have switches and flip a switch and start making crazy stuff. <laughs> Amazing. And I love the detail. You've got these knobs which are sort of illustrating the LFO yeah, speed. Yeah, because like it's the, the amount actually. If it's on zero, there you can't see anything. And then you can see, oh, no, this is the, the envelope follower. So for the LFO, you can see 
the actual amount, how much it goes, That's or it goes to zero, incredible. because this is just unattenuated. And a couple of VNU meters as well. Yeah, yeah, we've put some VU meters for <laughs> Great. And is this out now? Is it available Yes, now? it's on pre-order now. It's going to be shipping in August. So, yeah. <laughs> Great. And what's the cost? How much oh is yeah. it? Oh, uh, yeah. It's this one is 1,300 euros. Amazing. And, uh, yeah. Looks like great value for money. So much fun, whether Thank you've you. got other things to input or not, really. Exactly. Exactly. The first tests we did were actually no input. And the more we, uh, we started adding to it, like kicks and synth sounds and effects, it gets even even more interesting and you can get lost in it like for hours. <laughs> Absolutely, it looks fantastic, man. And <laughs> alongside you. it, you have something equally yes. as intriguing. Yes, we have a new member of the Archive Effects uh, family, which is called the Dirt Magnet. It's a collection of effects where we have a noise source with a bandpass filter, a modulatable bandpass filter, a crackle generator, with also w which is also modulatable in density and uh, level, a ring mod, a simple ring mod, a VCF which is modeled after, which is very close to the MS20 but a lot wilder. We we cranked the, resol <laughs> the resonance <laughs> a lot further, <laughs> so uh, it, it gets uh, a lot wilder. And then uh, tape delay which uses uh, cassette tape, Incredible. actual cassette tape. And we've shown this last year, but it wasn't really working. Now it's working and also on pre-order. And uh, all of this, the, the effects this time, they're stereo. And uh, yeah, so for the tape delay, you, you can also have a pan and modulate the pan. You can modulate the speed and the feedback. OK, lovely. And we've put the preamp from the Space Echo inside. So you can have some gnarly sounds and uh, beef up the sounds also. We've got a ping pong mode, as long as it's stereo. And the, the, tape, is, uh, the tape loop is replaceable and we will be providing some extra on in, the, in the box. And it's quite easy to make. We're going to make a video of how to make one uh, yourself. Oh, that's such a cool idea. And that's brilliant. Uh, Excellent. Can we hear what it sounds like? Sure. sure. <laughs> So this is the tape delay. Let's see if we modulate the, the speed. So that's kind of like the wow and flutter, the yeah. mo speed modulation. Well, this is this is a lot, a lot wilder than that. It's. <laughs> Super wow and super flutter. And can you sample in with those with those? Sorry. Uh, can you sample into it with those um, speed fluctuations? So you, you embed that within the tape. Is that possible? It, it, it will, well, the sound gets re-recorded to tape. So what? Do you, I don't understand. I'm not sure I understand. You, you can record the input with the speed fluctuations. Yes, so of course. Yeah. Well, in the feedback, it always gets re-recorded each time yeah, on the yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah, tape, yeah. so it gets re-inserted into the delay. Oh, and the delay also has uh, in inserts on the back, so you can insert in the feedback loop another effect or something else, and you can play along with it. Exactly. Great, man. So we've tried, like with the Dust Collector, our first product, we try to open up all the effects as much as possible to experimentation. So yeah. you can even, you know, press for, press harder on the... You can play with the tape head. So you can put actually put your fingers and hands inside it and... Yeah, it's great that you have that access to it there directly. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and we also have two LFOs, which also are digital, like on the mod mix, with a lot more uh, control. So you have speed, you do, uh, more waveforms, and the symmetry, like on the on the mod mix. And you also have uh, speed input for CV and the symmetry CV control. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, an output and an inverted output. And you've got, o you we've also put um, an envelope waveform on it, so you can, let's say, so you can make kicks, for example. Oh, with the great. Just using a small segment of the exactly. sound. Exactly. Amazing. Let That's so cool. No, you just the filter, everything. like the filter, using just the filter. Just the filter, let's see.
seat. Making yeah, kicks yeah, yeah. out of the... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. And the resonance being cranked up, it, it, it allows you to get a little more timber out of the, 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 the self-oscillation. Mm. You know, it, it starts saturating a lot faster and then it goes quite incredible, crunchy. Incredible, incredible. And in terms of the inputs and outputs that are on the back that we can't yeah. see, what's on that side there? Well, each of the effects of the modules has a separate input and output. And for the noise and crackle, it just gets mixed in. So the input may get mixed with the noise or the crackle for the ring mod, so that's, and all of them are stereo. The ring mod has Great. an input output, the VCF has an input output, and the tape delay, which also has the inserts, the stereo inserts for it. Fantastic. And is this available now? When's this out? It's also on pre-order and it's going to be out in September, so a little later than, uh, than the mod mix. Fantastic. And, and it's uh, 1,200 euros, the price. Superb. Yeah. Well, these are incredible devices, Christian. Thank you so much Thank for you. showing us them. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Thank <laughs> you.